Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys peeping. All right, man. I just saw, you know, an excellent interview by Barbershop Conversation. Fred, he conducted an interview with, you know, uh, one of Sergey Kovalov's victims, accuser, however you want to put it, whatever the case may be. But it was an excellent interview. And she basically broke down what uh, Sergey Kovalov did to her, what she claims you know, was done to her. It was kind of cringeworthy, you know, when you hear her go into deep detail what happened. And I just want to point out something because I'm going to do a video about this probably after this video about fake props and about inconsistency when it comes to these uh, YouTubers. Now, this is something that a lot of us been following for the past couple of years because at the end of the day, you got people that love Every time something happened with a brother, they can't wait to make videos. And, and then if you a brother that criticized another brother, the non, the non blacks love to give you a pat on the back and say good video and all this kind of shit. But then they seem to disappear when you put out videos about people that look like them. You know, the, the white people, the white props seem to disappear when you do videos about Sergey Kovalov. It's funny. People love putting out videos, anything negative about a black person or what they think is negative or which you may think may hurt their image. But then, yet, Sergey Kovalov has been accused of doing this on more than one occasion. But yet, no Me Too. Um, no, no being condemned by, you know, uh, ESPN, other sports media outlets. You know, no Carrie Champion, no Michelle Beadle, but you know, they could wait to pinpoint what Floyd did. But yet, this has been floating around about Sergey Kovalov for the past couple of years. Not to mention the other stuff Sergey Kovalov has said. Some of the racial innuendos he's made about black people. Why black people? trainers continue to work with him is beyond me i understand you got to get a check but sometimes all money ain't good money if i was a trainer i wouldn't i would never work with sergey kovalov you know the thing is people love to pull this shit oh well you know this dude isn't a racist because he has a black trick that don't mean nothing just like this whole thing with eminem oh he used to be best friends with proof well okay First of all, I would, would never be friends with Eminem. All those racist songs he made about uh, black people and uh, black women. You know, if you a black dude that want to wanna be cool with Eminem, that's your problem. But at the end of the day, I don't fuck with that dude now that I didn't heard all these songs. And what does a racist do when he's accused of being a racist? He covers up his tracks. Oh. I'm going to go out and sign a whole bunch of black artists. Oh, I'm going to hang around black people and start speaking on black issues. You know, Justin Bieber did it. Eminem did it. And then we all know that black people is easily fooled. And then that's all you got to do. And then some reason you'll get the stamp of approval from Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton like they speak for the whole black community. And then as far as these, these YouTubers go, you know, they're not going to make videos about Sergey Kovalov because they don't want to lose a lot of their white subscribers or non-black subscribers. For real. Because that's just what it comes down to. You always see, you always see like a, a, a board of inconsistency. One thing about me, like I said, I try my hardest to stay consistent. And I'll try to call it right down the middle. Sergey Kovalov should be having his name ran through the mud like they did Floyd Mayweather and any other uh, brothers that was accused of domestic violence. You ain't seen ESPN talk about it. You ain't seen uh, Fox, Fox Sports 1. But like I said, the whole theme is to demonize a black man at all costs. Whether you a white person trying to demonize a black man or if that doesn't work to keep um, white people from being called racist or white supremacists, they will hire 
or they will pay a black dude to do it on their behalf. That's why you have the Lonnie Loves, the Oprah Winfrey's, the you know the Herman Cain's, the Stephen A. Smiths, the Jason Whitlock's, those type of dudes, because they get paid to do it. So this thing with Sergey Kovalev is nothing new. And then when you ask that question, why hasn't everybody went on went in on him? And you don't see what you would call our ops making videos about that, but they love to holler about what the LDBC, what I should talk about, what Fred should talk about, what, you know what I'm saying, uh, a lot of other people should talk about, everybody. They love to tell us black channels what we should talk about. But then when we call them out for not talking about this, then all of a sudden they want to holler about, hey man, why are you making it about race? No, it's only about race when it's when it concerns you guys. Which proves that you're you're the ones that's the real racist. As long as we bash each other and put down each other, it is all good you love us. As soon as we say something about one of y'all's, then all of a sudden either you don't talk about it, you disappear, and when we call y'all out on it, then you wanna holler that, can we all get along? And the answer is fuck no. No. So this thing with Sergey Kobolov isn't nothing new. It's just that people chose to ignore it. But I guarantee you, if Sergey Kobolov was Adrian Broner, there would be videos about it. Because we know if Adrian Broner breed rogue, somebody making a video about it. And calling him a thug and call him a punk and all and he belongs in jail. Cause you know, just just the week before last, the shit with the little goofy ass white chick. Everybody made videos about that. But I don't see y'all pushing y'all record button talking about Sergey Kovalov. Thought so. Because we already know the answer. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.